special celebrity guest. Ray, I consider when it comes to branding, he's an icon. But more than that, he's a good friend. What I like about Ray Perez is that he makes things happen. And the unique gift I think that he has is he can make you look good. He's a person who's about giving. He is the world's expert when it comes to personal branding and making you a celebrity. So if you want to take your brand to the next level, check out Ray Perez on TV, right on C-Suite TV, and reach out to him and become a global business executive. He has a mind when it comes to marketing and branding second to none. I've never seen anything like it. What Ray and his training and his team provide is a sense of clarity, purpose, and direction. And I will tell you, when you can say what you do like that, you want to say it more often. When you say it more often, you make more money. I want to give a shout out to Ray Perez. He's going to do wonders for your business and get you in front of the right type of people. He is the connector. Getting the people in the room is one thing, but having it really full of energy and ready to, to rumble, so to speak, is, is the important thing. And I think you guys made that happen. So I want to say first class event all the way, man. If you want to be competitive, if you want to go global, you need branding by someone who has a decade of experience in doing it, has worked in all type of different areas, and who has a trained eye, and who gets you and can bring your stuff out into the marketplace. I've been an entrepreneur all my life. I mean it, I've never actually had a job and never had a boss. I started my very first business when I was 14 years old. It was a lawn service. And you know what I called it? What? Raised lawn service. <laughs> now I've had many businesses since, since then and some very successful and some failed. And the one thing that I've realized over the years, over so many different businesses, that business is built on relationship. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And because of this, I have made it my journey and my quest to try to figure out how to build better quality relationships faster. Mm -hmm. And what I've discovered is that through the power of personal branding, you allow other people who are your potential clients to connect with you 24-7, 365. And I'm going to share with you in a moment how I've leveraged branding, more specifically personal branding, to create a business where I have raving fans all over the world that are promoting me, sharing my message, and making an impact. Now, first of all, what is branding? If we talk to Mr. Jeff Bezos, he says that branding is what people say about you when you're not in the room. And I want you to think about that for a second. Because if they're not saying anything, is that a good thing? No. Oh. Next is, why is personal branding so powerful? Specifically, why could it be so powerful for you as entrepreneurs and small business owners? The reason is because people like to do business with people they like, know, and trust. You agree? Yes. Yes, we've all heard this already, right? But personal branding also increases sales. Main reason is because my big buddy, Zig Ziglar, anybody know Zig? Oh. Oh, I love Zig. If people like you, they'll listen to you. But if they trust you, they'll do business with you. So there is a difference. 
And I'm going to share with you exactly what that difference is. So if you don't believe me, I'm going to prove it to you. Okay? <laughs> Anybody know who this gentleman is? <laughs> it's my buddy Ronald McDonald. And when McDonald's first came out, they actually didn't have Ronald McDonald as their mascot. They just had their hamburgers. But one of their competitors, another hamburger establishment, had the owner and founder as the face of the business. And they were taking large market share from McDonald's. Anybody know who that other hamburger Wendy's. establishment was? Wendy's, yes. Does everybody remember Mr. Dave Thomas? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then his daughter, Wendy's, what's the company named after? So I have a question for you. How does a man help sell more hamburgers? Think about that for a moment. I have another example. Everybody know J-Lo? Yeah. You better know J-Lo. Yeah. So J-Lo has a, a perfume line. She's got multiple perfumes. But I was so shocked when I found out that J-Lo didn't actually invent her own perfume. Like I could have sworn that she was like in the, the laboratory with the plastic glasses and the white coat. Ooh, I don't like that one. And you know, that's not how it happened. She had her marketing people talk to some company that had a scent and said, hey, we'd love to put JLo's name on this scent. And would you think that that same smell would have sold the same amount if it didn't have JLo's name on it? No, no way. No, no way. So how does a woman help sell more perfume. Any, any, any suggestions? Any feedback? Celebrity. Be like her. Celebrity. They want to be like her. What else? Want to smell like her. Trust. Trust. They know her. They feel like they know her. Here's my, here's, and she's sexy, right? Of course. Here's my favorite one, Nike. The most recognized brand in the entire world. This swoosh. More than Coca-Cola. But what would you guess, and you can shout it out if you know the answer, is the best-selling Nike of all time? Nobody even said the word Nike. Mm. And that's because the man or the woman will always sell more than just the brand or company alone. And I know what you're thinking. I'm not Michael Jordan or JLo, right? Like, so what does this make a difference for me in my business? Well, here's the difference. You can become the recognized authority, the expert or the celebrity in your niche or in your industry. And that has to do with the power of personal branding. And during our breakout session, I will get into the step-by-step -step sequence of exactly how we create a trustworthy, credible, proper expert authority brand so that you will have customers attracted to you, therefore you can bring them to your business. Understand that multi-million dollar companies are paying celebrities and influencers and thought leaders to represent their company because they know that human beings will buy more when they connect to a person. So I ask you to imagine what would it be like if you were the celebrity in your space? If you were the celebrity in your industry, in your particular niche, because here's the funny part. Michael Jordan is definitely a celebrity, but he's a celebrity within a particular niche and in industry, which is sports, athletics. If we took Michael Jordan and we put him, let's say, in ballet, <laughs> it would be funny, that's for sure, <laughs> but he would not be a celebrity. So I want you to understand that it's all about who you are in your particular arena, in your individual greatness. And every single one of you has greatness within you. And what my God-given talent is to connect with you and pull that greatness out and turn it into a digital presence so the world can see, so they can be attracted to you, so they can want to be in your space, to work with you and the people that you're around. And most importantly, Build raving fans. Because if you have raving fans, then you have promoters of you, your message, your service, and you impact more people in the world. So in the next session, we're gonna get into exactly how you can do that for yourself and for your business.